are struggling with intention, I got you in this video. Woo, you guys, in this video, I am gonna be telling you one of my tried and true manifestation techniques, especially for those of you that feel like intending isn't working or you're struggling to really grasp a manifestation in general or just grasp the concept of intention like I did for so freaking long. <laughs> we are throwing intention out the window. This is just what's worked for me. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to try it. If what you're doing is working for you, then badass boo, keep it fucking going. <laughs> Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My badass spiritual mama jamas out there. My name is Tawny Michelle and on my channel, I do a lot of spiritual shit. I normally do astrology and tarot, but I'm shifting into manifestation and a lot of other really cool spiritual topics, healing, etc. So if that's your vibe, if you relate with my vibe, whatever, then subscribe before you leave and make sure to comment down below. Please show this video some love so we can grow my, grow my little channel over here. I would really, really appreciate it. If you are struggling with intention, I got you in this video. Intention used to feel like trying to hold a slippery fish. Like that's how it felt to me. I understand the definition of intention. I just wanna put that out there. I understand what intention means, but every time that I would try to grasp the word intention or use intention to manifest, I was finding that I really wasn't very successful at it. Like most of my manifestations when I would try manifesting with intention, we're just not coming through. And if you're struggling with that, let me know down below. I'd really love to know your feedback with this as well. Eventually one day, as I was struggling with manifesting with intention, I started to look back through my life and I started to really ask myself, okay, where have I manifested and what was the difference then? Like, where did my manifestations happen and where did they not happen? And any time that I would go into it with this intention shit that people tell you to do, I started realizing that like most of my manifestations did not come to be. And I started to realize that when my manifestations did come to be, I did a very specific thing that was very, very different than setting intention. And Intention to me kind of is like, I intend to do this one day. It, it's almost like future tense. It's almost like creating a gap within the word. I think that was the disconnect for me. It felt like a weak word. It didn't feel like a powerful, strong enough feeling for me to really grasp onto. So I actually thought back to one specific moment in my life. Let me just tell you, this was a very, very powerful moment. And I'm gonna tell you why. I was literally, basically living out of my car. I had nowhere to go. I had literally nothing. I had no money. I had no job. I had lost both of my parents the year prior and I just had no one and nothing and was at an ultimate low. And this was in 2018. My reality consisted of somewhere between being nauseous AF and not knowing if I was going to faint. I mean, literally I was full of fear. I was at rock bottom. Like I was literally at rock bottom. Eventually, Eventually though, I got to this place where I guess I finally accepted it. I had like this massive surrender moment. I got to this place where I had finally accepted the worst possible case scenario. And through that surrender moment, I was able to actually see how powerful I was to be going through something like that. And somehow, even though it was scary AF and it didn't feel like I was holding it together at the time, but somehow I survived it. Somehow I made it through that. And that ended up being a very empowering experience for me. What does manifestation have to do with this experience? Well, let me tell you, I declared in that empowering moment when I was still kind of living out of my car that no matter what, within a few months, I would have my own place and that I would never be in that situation again, that I would never resort back to that situation. And guess the fuck what? <laughs> Literally within a couple weeks of me having that surrender moment of me coming into my power, I ended up finding a, a temporary place to stay. And 
everything in my life started shifting. Within literally a few months, I got a brand new apartment. I have no idea how it was approved. I had no credit. I had just gotten a job a couple weeks prior. My YouTube channel was taking off. I mean, it was in freaking sane. I had no idea how within a few months I went from living out of my car to a brand new apartment. And it just, it was insane. But at the same time, it wasn't insane because I knew it was going to happen. And I put every ounce of power that I had in me to manifesting it. And so what the difference was at that time between intending, intending that I would get out of this situation, intending that I would have a place, intending that I would start making money and have a job. The difference was, is that I didn't intend I decided that was the difference. Now hold up, stick with me for just a second. Intending, like I said, felt like a very slippery word. It didn't feel easy to grasp for me. And so I went into things and I looked back at my life and at the manifestations that happened very quickly and very powerfully. And the two things I really, really noticed was that I knew they were going to happen, number one because I decided that they were happening. There was no, oh, I intend for this to happen one day, darling, please, please come and grant my wishes. There was none of that. There was like, I am deciding, like this is freaking happening, point blank, period. There's no if, ands, or but, there's no doubting it, it's happening. You could not tell me otherwise. Like I was literally set on it. You could not tell me otherwise. I had made up my mind. There was no other option. So there was no like, oh, Oh, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen or I don't know. Like, no, it was freaking happening. Like that was that, like it, there was no looking back, you know, and it happened within a couple of months, my whole entire world shifted, my whole entire world changed. And it was all because I decided I knew, right. Those were the two things I knew. Therefore I decided. And also you could even say that my personal power was involved because that was a huge part of it to me stepping back into my personal power. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. So if you're still here, comment down below and let me know if you want a separate video on personal power, because that goes into manifestation so much. And I don't hear many people talking about it and it's crucial. And if you would like a video on how to step into your personal power and how to have that confidence, how to truly know, then I would love to do that for you. I actually was kind of planning on doing it anyway. So let me know if you would like to see it. So when I stepped into shit with that energy of this is happening no matter what, like I am deciding, like I'm deciding that this happened, that this is happening, right? There's no like, oh, maybe, or I'm putting my intention out there and hoping that I receive it. Like, no, it didn't matter if the universe worked with me or not. It was fucking happening, right? But the universe worked with me because I was coming from a place of personal power. I had already accepted the lack I was in. I wasn't coming from lack anymore. It, I had already accepted that. The lack didn't have power over me anymore. And that's another video I want to do as well on talking about lack and dealing with lack and manifestation but the lack didn't have power over me anymore. I knew that this is what was fucking going down for me. I knew that this was happening for me. So if you've been struggling with intention, with manifesting in general, and just like with your manifestations happening, number one, are you intending and does intending feel somewhat off to you? Like, how are you going about it? Does something not feel right about the process to you? And have you tried deciding and not just like, deciding from a place of lack either, but deciding from your personal power, deciding from that, that you within you, that fucking knows that you're capable of it, that fucking knows that it's possible, that will, even if the universe doesn't work with you, you will make it happen. It is that, it is that fucking powerful that you know, you have no shadow of a doubt that it's going to happen because you decided. That is the kind of energy that creates miracles. And it doesn't make logical sense to the mind because it's not fucking supposed to. Miracles don't happen through taking logical actions. When I opened up, when my frequency opened up because I opened, because I surrendered, because I accepted my situation, I was able to stop resisting. I was able to stop fighting. I was able to step into my power. And from that place, I was able to manifest 
at rapid speed. Even within a week, two weeks, I had a place to stay. And like I said, it was temporary, but I was fine with that because I knew that very, very soon I was going to have my own place. And it ended up being a brand new, beautiful apartment. They didn't check, like they didn't say anything about my credit. They didn't say anything about the fact that I had only had a job for two weeks at the time when I moved in because I my YouTube channel was just starting to take off. Like it was just insane. So <laughs> miracles really do happen when you have that force behind them. And it's not like a cocky, egotistical, place either because that again comes from lack that actually comes from powerlessness not from power you can tell the difference when it's clean and clear and you're in your power and you decide hopefully this was helpful let me know down below if this was helpful i personally have never heard anybody talk about this i always just hear intend you know put your intention out there i never hear decide i never hear claim that's another beautiful word for manifesting is claiming, not actually just hoping or wishing that it's going to happen, but claiming it, deciding it, you know, I feel like claiming and deciding are kind of both equally as powerful. And so play around with those. Let me know how it goes. I would really, really, really love to hear your feedback on this video and any videos that you would like to see next from me. I truly, truly appreciate your support and your love as always. And with that being said, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, follow me on my other social media platforms, and I will see you guys in the very near future.